So we have a little surprise. The old engine, the new engine. So it actually came in two days. Ordered this Wednesday night or Tuesday night. Can't even remember, it was either Wednesday or Tuesday and it was here this morning. So that was pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it till next week. So I'm gonna open this up, do a little unboxing, see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna be starting to prime all these parts that a rust converted the other day and see how that goes. And then hopefully get the engine in fairly soon. So next few days. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Fairly clean cover, it's got the Jono and Jono, 17.5 horsepower, easy start overhead cam, general power engine. Um, not gonna take it out fully until it's ready to go on the engine, but um, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Compared to that, this is gonna look a lot cleaner. Um, I did check the measurement, so it should fit in there without having to cut the um, the hood. But um, we'll see how that goes. I might just double check with the tape and do that. But um, here's the paint I'm going to be using to prime. So I've got the Kill Rust Heavy Duty Primer. Um, rust Convert was step one. Prime is step two, and then step three is a top coat. But I'm actually going to top coat it. <laughs> with some um, Dualux weather shield, oh, or metal shield, sorry. Top coat, primer. So there we are, I've primed all the bare spots. Gonna let that dry and then um, probably do a coat of the other color, which is like a bluey gray. But um, I would like to get stuck into putting the engine in, but I can't, because I've got to wait for all this to dry, make sure it's done properly. In there, I can pot potentially tidy up later on anyway. This is just the part that the engine will cover and I won't be able to access later on. So um, same as these bits, that's just gonna sit like that um, until I decide to do something with it which may be laid down the track, but all that's easily accessible where under the engine isn't. 